what is your name and what is your job? Maeve O'Reilly and I'm an operations engineer in IBM. Why did you choose to study and work in this STEM field? Be, so I studied commerce and German in college. Mm -hmm. Then I got a job working with UPS and I just really liked the tech they had going on. So I decided to upskill in the whole tech area and moved into that. Were you inspired by someone or something? I was pretty inspired by the IBM mainframes. They never go down. They're pretty spectacular. There's just nothing that compares with them. Um, and then in terms of people, there are people I work with who I find pretty inspirational. Yes, people who are kind of technically brilliant, but also universally kind to everyone. What topic are you working on at the moment? So I've just finished a cost reduction project, which is basically going through an account and trying to reduce our monthly cost of that. Um, and I'm changing jobs now, moving into a software developer role with a different team. What is exciting about your job? I would say the constant change. The rate of change is phenomenal. It's quite difficult to keep up with. It's also a bit scary, frankly, um, but that is the exciting part too. There's nothing that you learned last year. Very little is still relevant this year. The change is constant. How do you think you'll make a difference? I don't know if I will. In 10 years, what do you hope to have accomplished in terms of your work? I don't have any hopes that way. I don't think that way. I want to be technically better at some things I'm not so strong at at the moment. Because I've been in operations for a few years, I'm more on the infrastructure and scripting kind of end of things, whereas I want to move more into the core development end of things so that I have stronger skills there. And that should happen within the next three years, I would think. Ten years is a long time away, I don't know. Why is it important that more women pursue STEM education? Well, we're writing the algorithms. Free will is up for debate, right? We are very much controlled by what we read, what we see, what is out there. And if that's all written by people who are all the same, bias, more and more bias comes into it. So we need balance in the people creating it as well. If we want the world to be a better place, and more equal and equitable for everybody. If you had the option to give advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? I would try to explain that patience matters and patience is actually important, but I know that my younger version wouldn't have listened. What inspirational message would you give young girls to inspire them to pursue STEM? I'm not entirely sure I would. It's very unhealthy to be sitting on your ass all day long looking at a screen going blind. It's not the healthiest choice you can make. So if you make that choice career-wise or any office job, I would say you really need to combine it with exercise and do both. Don't go into any form of office job where you're just sitting on your ass all day. I guess STEM though is quite broad. I mean, there's an imbalance in IT, sort of the high tech area where I am, but there's a much dramatically ridiculous imbalance in the construction industry. So electricians, plumbers, builders, bricklayers, all those kind of jobs, which I would say are actually much healthier and really need to be shook up. They're kind of ridiculous at the moment and they could change dramatically 
with the way technology has moved combined with those industries and making them um, more diverse will be better for everybody. Okay, thanks Maeve.